Hey guys, it's the Diabetes Noobs, and today we're going to be talking about the loop. The loop is a closed loop system which connects the Dexcom and Omnipod together continuously. The loop can raise and lower your base rates. So this is the loop app. The green circle on the top left tells me that I'm looping. If it's green, I am looping, but if it's red, I'm not. Next to that on the right, you see my blood sugar. It says I'm 141, one arrow up. If I hit that, it takes me directly to the Dexcom app. Then I can go back if I would need it to. In the center, you see how much basal I'm getting an hour. So right now I'm getting three units. On the bottom of the screen, you see a plate icon. If you tap on that, you can just put in whatever amount of carbs you want, then you can hit save. But if you're not having normal food that burns at three hours, like candy, you would hit the candy symbol and it, and it would change it to two hour burn time. Or if you're having something long, you'd hit pizza for a four hour burn or a custom, you can hit here. Also, if you have um, forgot to bullet for a meal you had 30 minutes ago, you could go back, put the carbs in, and it would calculate the bullets differently. Next, um, you see the two triangles. You hit that, and this is how you can bullet. So right now, I need a little insulin, so I'm just going to hit that, hit deliver, put in my passcode, and it'll start giving. Once you see um, this orange circle, and once it's all the way full, that means it's done. But if you hit that square in the middle, it'll cancel. Next, you have overrides. An override is basically decreasing your basal by whatever percent you want for however you want. And it'll also target your blood sugar to whatever you want. And you can do it for, say, an hour and a half and then I'll stop. In the middle on the, f the top you see glucose. It has your number but then it also has your predicted number in that um, sketched line and it says I'm eventually going to be 218. Next there's active insulin. This shows how the insulin is going to basically just burn down that slope. Then you have insulin delivery, which each triangle is the time you gave insulin. Then you have bicarbohydrates, and this is when it spikes. That means when I entered carbs, and that slope is how it burned. All right, to show you quickly the last icon on the screen, the gear, this is where we do our settings. So where we set up our Omnipod, we can see our, our G6 glucose monitor, but more importantly is where we set up all the configuration settings that lets the loop do its algorithms and real-time calculations to correct blood sugar. So correction range is where we tell it uh, what the target for our upper and lower numbers to be. In this case, we put it as 100 and 100. So our goal is obviously the blood sugar at 100. Suspension threshold means at 75 or lower, stop giving insulin. Um, basal rates is where we configured how much basal per hour, starting at what time. Um, our delivery limits uh, limit how much is the maximum, and what's our maximum bolus and maximum basal rate per hour. Um, carb ratios are here that specify how many units of insulin per gram of carbs at each uh, time of day um, and then insulin sensitivities or correction factor how much uh, one unit of insulin uh, impacts blood sugar at each time of day um, this is also where we set up our override preset so we have one called stuck high and we have one called stuck low where it will automatically change the insulin ratios during uh, uh, when we click those overrides um, and then we can also set up things like our night scout in this case. Um, so that's how we set it up, and that's uh, what allows this to do its magic calculations, keep blood sugars more in range. The loop took some getting used to, 
but it's really helped my blood sugars, especially overnight. I'd really recommend looking into it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please like and subscribe to our channel.